Hello everyone, this is Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving equations. So our focus today is more on solving one-step equations. So without further ado, let's do this topic. As you can see, what we have here are four equations wherein this can be solved using one-step equations. So more likely, we will just use the different operations we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division to undo the operation and finally solve for the missing variable. In example number one, we have x plus 3 is equal to 10. In the first glance of this equation, we can easily figure out what must be the value of x added by 3 and equal to 10. The answer is 7. But how are we going to solve this using the steps on how to solve equations? First, we need to isolate the variable wherein it is the only term on the side of an equation, meaning we need to eliminate this kind of term. Now here's the question, how are we going to eliminate plus 3? We need to undo this plus 3 by adding or doing its inverse operation. And the inverse operation of plus 3 or plus is minus. So we need to subtract 3. And always remember, to make it balance, if you will subtract here on the left side of the equation, you need to also subtract 3 on the other side of the equation. This, positive 3 minus 3, this is equal to 0. What remains here is equal to x. And on the other side, we have 10 minus 3, which is equal to 7. As you can see, this is the proper way on how to solve the given equation. Now, if you want to check whether your answer is correct, let us use the original equation. We have x plus 3 is equal to 10. This is checking, guys. Now, the value of x is 7. Replace this x by 7. Plus 3 is equal to 10. 7 plus 3 is 10. And as you can see, the two sides of the equation are equal, meaning the answer is correct. Now let's move on to the next equation. We have 2 is equal to x minus 15. As you can see, the variable x is on the right side of the equation. And what we need to do is to isolate this variable wherein we need to eliminate minus 15. So as I have told you earlier, to eliminate this, you need to use its inverse operation. The inverse of minus or subtraction is addition. We will add 15 on this, side, on this side of the equation as well as on the other side of the equation. So it will happen here in negative or minus 15. Negative 15 plus 15, this is 0. So what we have now is x is equal to 2 plus 15 and that is 17. And if you are not comfortable with this answer, you can flip this and it will be x is equal to 17. To check your answer, whether it's correct, let's use the checking. Let's check our answers. Using the same equation, we have 2 is equal to x minus 15. Replace this x by 17. So this is 2 is equal to 17 minus 15. 17 minus 15 is 2. On the other side is 2. And as you can see, both sides of the equations are equal. Okay? So I hope you're doing well with example number 1 and example number 2. Now let's move on with example number 3 and example number 4. In example number 3, we have 9m is equal to 18. So this time, we cannot see addition or subtraction. But in this case, guys, this 9 and m, what we have here is a multiplication process or the operation of multiplication. And to undo or to eliminate this 9, what we need to do is to use the inverse or reverse operation. If this is multiplication, we need to use division. So what we will do is we will divide both sides of the equation by 9. And we can cancel this out because 9 divided by 9 is 1. So what we have now is m 
and on the other side we have 18 divided by 9 and that would be 2 and this is the answer guys for item number 3 now if you want to check whether your answer is correct let's do the checking we have 9m is equal to 18 since our m is equal to 2 replace this m by 2 that would be 9 times 2 is equal to 18 Multiply, multiply these two numbers this is 18 is equal to 18 as you can see they are equal meaning the value of m is correct now let's move on with the last example we have t over 7 is equal to 10 so here to eliminate the multiplication part we need to undo it using the reverse operation or inverse operation we divided now here t over 7 it implies division okay now to undo it we need to use the multiplication so how are we going to do that we will multiply the whole equation by 7 this will be also multiplied by 7 in this case it will become 7 times t 7 times t is 70 and then divided by 7 so to cut it short we can simply eliminate this and this so what we have is the remaining t variable and on the other side that is 10 times 7 which is equal to 70 and this is the final answer now if you want to check your answers correct checking t over 7 is equal to 10 the value of t is 70 over 7 and is equal to 10 we will move this upward 70 divided by 7 that is 10 and 10 are the equal yes so i hope guys you learned something from this video on how to solve one step equations and as part of our routine you need to try this for you to apply what you have learned from this video please try and solve x minus 10 is equal to 20. number two we have 5x is equal to 30. so i hope you enjoyed this lesson and if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads again it's me teacher gone maraming maraming salamat bye bye